Hi, I'm here crouched in the corner because I have been getting flora and put down in my house and um, this is the only bookshelf behind me that has any books on it. The rest of them are, um, are empty and um, so, you know, keeping up appearances and all that. I'm here today to talk about this book. This is What Page Sir by Simon Pickering. I was very kindly sent this book for review and um, I was very excited to read it to be honest because this book sort of encompasses my sort of side interest if you will. This book is essentially a non-fiction anecdotal look at the education system in the UK around um, English literature. The different texts that teenagers doing their GCSEs and A-levels will study and the experiences of the teacher who's trying to teach these kids these texts. And what drew me to want to read this is because I loved my English literature lessons at school. It's, um, it's no secret, I absolutely loved English. I was obsessed. It was everything I loved, reading, writing, it was brilliant. But I also came into it wanting to see the teacher point of view because not many of you all know but I did study teaching and so for a while I was the one standing at the front of the classroom teaching kids things and so that made the premise of this book a compelling read for me. I have to say this book did not disappoint. I found the look at the education system to be very interested. It's something that does interest me. Each chapter takes a different book from the syllabus and talks about it and um, talks about some of um, Simon Pickering's experiences in teaching that book to various different abilities and um, children from various backgrounds also. I found it interesting to see how different books are received by different sort of um, backgrounds of people. Some of the texts discussed in this book are texts that I studied myself at school. I can remember reading and in spectacles. I remember the teacher following a similar sort of suit as to what Simon Pickering discusses in his book where everybody was sort of doled out apart and um, forced to read the book out loud in class which to the majority of teenagers is a bit of a is a bit of a no-no nobody wants to be the one having to read out in class and there was a lot going on in the chapters of this book that really took me back to high school and took me back to those classrooms and I can remember sitting right where I used to sit and I can remember who was sat next to me and I can remember the various lessons that we did and the sort of formula that it follows but similarly I could feel the exasperation and the sometimes almost just resignation to to your lot um that simon covers when he talks about how exam standards have changed and about how the way that teaching has changed and in a way it is almost sad because you can sort of feel the excitement and the enthusiasm of the newly qualified teacher and you can feel that enthusiasm just sort of ebb away a little. Simon gets told not to try and be too clever in his analysis of books and coming up against surly teenagers that just don't want to learn and don't want to study these texts and you can just, you can sort of feel that exasperation there and it's one thing that I hated myself when I was in high school because sometimes I really did want to talk about these texts and sometimes I really did want to delve deeper into the pages and some of my most favourite books came from my English literature lessons. I still remember the day that The Handmaid's Tale was dropped on our desks and the first few chapters of that book just blew my mind and it is still my favourite book to this day. I read it sort of as a fresh-faced 16 year old ready to embark upon my English literature journey before I went off to university and just that book, that text to me has such nostalgic value and a lot of the texts within this book just have that sort of feel for me and um, I have a lot of them on my shelves actually, a lot of the books that we discussed and talked about in school. I sort of watched my English teacher over the years and as time went by there was definitely a sort of a shift in her teaching style and um, you could see she had lost a lot of enthusiasm for the job and um, unfortunately there were some events that I won't get into, but um, yeah, it was it was clear that she'd sort of become disenchanted with the whole system. And um, it, it's just something that I took with me. However, she fostered in me a love of um, reading more widely. I only used to really read horrors and she sort of fostered in me a love of books outside of my chosen genre and it was one of the things that sort of led me to become a much wider reader and the wider reader that I am today and some of the books that we talked about have stuck with me. One of the books that we analysed and um, went through was um, To Kill a Mockingbird and this is still another book that just 
even though it has a hard subject line, it is a book that gives me those nostalgic feelings and um, takes me right back to being that teenage girl who is just embarking on a journey into literature. And so I found it really interesting to hear from the teacher's perspective about the different sort of ups and downs of teaching English literature to, to teenagers. And um, one thing that I will say is that Simon Pickering is pretty disparaging about the A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens and I was appalled at his comments. I love that book, I really do. And um, yeah, you'll have to read it to find out sort of the, the way that he talks about A Christmas Carol, but honestly, I mean, I wanted to fight him. So this is not a big hefty read. This is not a read that's gonna take you a long time to get through. I think it was only somewhere between 130, 140 pages. Um, so it didn't take me very long to get through this at all. But if you're interested in the sort of the education system, if you're interested in English literature, and if you're from the UK and you read a lot of the books that will be mentioned in the syllabus, some of the, the Austins, the Orwells, I'd really recommend this book as a short read. I really enjoyed it. I definitely can't say that I agree with all of his comments. I can say that I resonate with a lot of his experiences. And overall, it was a pretty entertaining read for me. So as usual, let me know if you've read it. Let me know if you're going to. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.